Now, we often talk about um, supersized Britain, don't we? We're all getting bigger, children are getting fatter, junk Where are you food's going getting supersized. Well, how about this? Fruit is. Breakfast from BBC News. Let's bring you up to date with the main stories this morning. Trade. What's coming up on the programme this morning? I'm going to look at later on after 8 o'clock who's bringing in a baby who was not diagnosed uh, at birth but went on to uh, develop some problems that perhaps this test might have prevented. But for now, thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Let's see, time now is 6.42. You're watching Breakfast from BBC News. Our main stories this morning. Cherry traders as they prepare for the markets. Yes, and we're going to have those RBS figures. Uh, they're due any time now, due in at 7, but we're just waiting for those official uh, figures to come in. So as soon as those come in, we'll be back with uh, Sam with a little more information on those. Note there. All those pop songs. Makes you think, perhaps you could do it. <laughs> no, doesn't make me think that. <laughs> Let's go to the re uh, time to get our, the news where you are now. See you in a few minutes' time. Good morning, you're watching Breakfast with Charlie State and Susanna Reid. Our main news stories this morning, RBS, the bank which is more than 80% owned by the taxpayer, has announced a loss of £1.4 billion for the first half of this year. That compares to... One other line of financial news this morning regarding the amount of money lent by Britain's five biggest banks. They'd promised to meet certain targets by the end of this financial year, including making around £76 billion available to small and medium-sized businesses. Figures released this morning show they're roughly halfway to meeting that figure with six months still to go. And you can follow all of these stories on the BBC News channel as they develop across the day. Now at 8.31, other news this morning. Researchers say all newborn babies should have a simple extra check for serious heart defects, which can otherwise go undetected. We're going to go back to Edinburgh now. Must be about time. Our arts correspondent David Sinato has been there all morning with an array of performers. who will be treading the boards at... Carol, thanks very much. Now, Gabriel Prokofiev's family heritage made it almost inevitable that he would make a career out of music. But unlike his grandfather, the composer Sergei Prokofiev, Gabriel hasn't restricted himself to the classical genre. He's about to become the first performer to introduce a live DJ to the proms in his concerto for turntables and orchestra in Gabriel's hit. And DJ Switch and the National Youth Orchestra will perform Gabriel Prokofiev's concerto for turntables and orchestra at the Royal Albert Hall at tomorrow night. And you're going to be there. Uh, Julia Somerville, Angela Rippon and Gloria Hannaford uh, waiting in the wings just over there to come in and chat with us in a few minutes' time. They're preparing to expose some of the rip-offs that are costing British consumers. We'll talk to them in just a moment. First, though, here's a quick last look at what's happening where you are. Stay with us. The thing is, actually, I mean, that gentleman was talking about his plumbing insurance, but it all... Handling your problems no, yourself. Terrible. I, I mean, mean, I, have, I mean? have to say, I think this is going to... Clip now uh, uh, from the last series. Let's yes, have Anne a and Colin Warner had uh, problems when they thought they were covered with their European health insurance cards. Let's have a look at this. Thinking is uh, part of the issue you're talking about. We, we're going to put out a little I apology for your very plain up. speaking a moment ago. Indeed. Before we go, let's say goodbye with the help of the singing collective Fascinating Aida from the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Thanks.